Okay, guys. So today I'm going to be doing the problem on expert TA about the crate that is 140 kilograms and the kinetic friction is 0.3 and the static friction is 0.5. So to begin, we're going to be drawing a free body diagram. And I'm going to do that over here. So this is our crate. And in the positive Y, we are going to have our normal force. In a positive X, we're going to be having our F max. In the negative Y, we will have the force of gravity, of course. And also, I just wanted to note that this is equal to 140 kilograms. And in our negative Y, oh, I'm sorry, that's really bad. We're going to have our static friction or force of static friction. So for this problem, we're going to be finding the net force and looking at the net force. So Newton's second law says that net force F, the net force is equal to MA, which is equal to F max minus F stat, which is equal to zero. So all in all, this means that the F max is equal to the F stat. So for this problem, we're going to be looking at the friction force, which is Fs, and that is equal to the static friction times the net force, and that is equal to the 0.5 of our static friction times 9.8 meters per second squared times our 140 kilogram crate. And that is equal to 686 newtons. Now, do not forget that according to this, our F stat, which is what this is, is also equal to our F max. So both of our F max and our F static are both equal to 686 newtons. So now going to clear this, and starting something new. So now we wanna know what is the force required to start moving this crate? Well, that's simple. What is force equal to? Mass times acceleration. So our force is equal to 140 kilograms of the crate times our acceleration of 9.8 meters per second squared which means the force to start moving this crate is 1,372 newtons. And that is the answer to all of these problems.